what you doing, Robert Valdez? I'm gonna get ready to go in here and get some of that uh, famous international orange and we're gonna head out and paint the bridge. I've always wanted to become a bridge painter. I'm a second generation painter. I had some painting experience and figured, well, I'll give it a shot and at the painting career. Daily job here is actually pretty cool. I get to come work on probably the most famous and looked at bridge this side of the Mississippi. I run into this to people all the time. They'll say, what do you do? And uh, I say, oh, I'm a bridge painter. And they're wowed. And then they'll go and say, well, what bridges do you work on? And I say, well, I actually work for the Golden Gate Bridge. The faces that I get of astonishment, the, the wow factor, is just unbelievable. Most people don't really realize how this bridge gets painted. One of the big myths is that we paint it end to end and then we start over. But that's not how we work. We go after the places that need new paint the most because the bridge really takes a beating from the salty marine air and the fog. Before you do a full coat on the steel, we have to do what's called a striping coat. And striping coat means all the edges and around all the different sides of the bolts need to get some kind of paint on them. Putting a very heavy coat on all the edges prohibits rust from eventually forming around those bolts and rivets, which actually hold the bridge together. The perks of the job, you get a beautiful view every day. If you come out here and spend five minutes out there on the bridge and, and uh, just daydream for five minutes, it, it makes it all work, coming to work every day.